everybody, it's Carolyn from Homesteading Family. And you know, we've gone 13 whole years of parenting without a broken bone until this last week. One sled and one boy and the result was a broken bone, a broken finger. And today I wanna to show you the herbal remedy that we are using to help heal that bone in a really quick amount of time and make sure it heals really well. Of course we got it right into the doctor because it was sticking out the wrong direction and we had the doctor go ahead and set it and take x-rays and all of that, which you know you really wanna do that unless you just have absolutely no access to healthcare, please go get it set by a doctor. But then when, he, when we brought him home, we immediately started doing this herbal preparation, which is known to help speed the healing of bones into a third of the time, meaning it drops two thirds of the time of the bone healing process and to really strengthen the bones in that healing process. This is a great thing that's been used for hundreds of years for healing bones and it is called a comfrey compress. It is extremely simple to make and I've seen people heal from injuries by using this after just a few days that they have not been able to cure with the doctor's help in months and months. So this can be really effective and it just gives your body that extra nutrients, the extra things that it needs in order to go ahead and heal those bones up. Aside from broken bones, a comfrey compress is great for any sprains, uh, bruises, any sort of internal things that need healing because it is a cell regenerative. It helps your cells to repair. And so this is gonna help to go ahead and create new bone to heal that right up really quickly. This is so easy to do, but you've gotta remember, if you don't have comfrey on hand, it creates a real problem because you can't get it right onto a broken bone as soon as it's been set. So please get yourself some comfrey, have it on hand. Better yet, grow some in the garden. It grows so well and it has so many amazing uses around a homestead. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and you're gonna be amazed at how simple it is. Now I have my kettle filled with boiling water. It was just boiled, it's cooled down just a little since I'm talking, but um, it's still really hot. And I have a heat proof bowl here. I have something to cover my bowl with because we wanna keep those oils from the plants from evaporating in the hot water. And then I have a nice clean towel or rag or whatever you want you want to use that you don't mind having it dipped in the herbal tea preparation in order to get it onto a broken bone. This is so easy. All we're gonna do is take some of our dried comfrey. If you just had fresh comfrey, you could just bruise that up and do this exact same thing. Go right out to the garden and do this. And we're just gonna put in two handfuls of this dried comfrey. And this is dried comfrey leaf. Um, you could use the root, but you'd have to have it just about powdered to make it small enough to really pull out what you need, um, the plant constituents, with just the water. And then all we're gonna do is just cover those really well, making sure they all get wet with water. And I'm gonna make enough here to last us for about 24 hours. It'll last just fine that long. So I'm gonna fill this up about like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'm gonna let this steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll come right back and show you what to do. All right, now this has been brewing for about 15 minutes. It's still actually quite hot, so um, you have to be careful when you work with this. Now, the way that I prefer to do this is to go ahead and just leave the herbs right in there. But at this point, you are welcome to strain off the herbs. I just don't see any reason for it because it's just gonna make a mess of additional dishes and um, because I'm gonna use this for about 24 hours, it will continue to get stronger and stronger if the herbs are in there. But, you know, it does cause a little bit of mess having all the herbs in there too. Now, you have two different options as to how to use this. 
One way would be to simply soak the broken bone right in here. And in the case of a finger, that's really easy to do. And probably the best option is you can just get something, you know, right under the liquid. Um, a broken toe, anything like that would be about the same. However, most of your parts of your body, you can't stick into a bowl, especially if they're broken. So the other option is gonna be to take a rag and make that compress. And all you're gonna do is just submerge this right into this liquid. Now again, this is actually quite warm still. So I'm gonna have to be a little careful here. And you're just gonna get that liquid on it. Now you can see where it would be a little bit neater to have this strained out because you do get some herbs into your compress here. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and squeeze out just a little bit. You do want it to be a little bit wet and you do want it to be warm when you put it on to the um, break or to the injury. That's because that warmth brings blood flow to the area, which brings all of your body's resources to help heal something more quickly. So um, even a, just a warm compress can go ahead and help heal something quickly, but not nearly as fast as having this comfrey in it. So now all I'm going to do is wrap whatever body part that is broken into this towel. And then I would just wrap another towel around it and keep it like that for about 20 minutes. And you're gonna to wanna to do that three times a day when you have a break to make it heal as quickly as you can. You could do it even more, um, but you know, three times a day is a great number and pretty practical for most of us. Now, if you have a hard time, maybe you have something with a cast on it or something more rigid where you can't take it off like a, you know, a wrap or something that's been splinted, um, in which case getting comfrey into it any way you possibly can is great. A uh, comfrey salve, a comfrey ointment, you can make or buy any of those, is a great way to get some comfrey right into there and right onto that break to help your bones heal much faster. Take care you guys, stay healthy, and I hope you never have to use this. Take care, goodbye.